Hey everybody, here's a quick look at my cargo trailer to RV conversion. It's a 16 long by six and a half wide. I put a hot water heater on the outside so I wouldn't have to think about having fumes or propane on the inside. Uh, it just comes right on off. It's uh, hung up there with a bolt right into the frame. Got a security light up top has a switch on the inside window is 12 by 14 I'm sorry 12 by 24 got them from vintage technologies this one's a horizontal you see the weep holes on the bottom hot and cold water inlets cable TV and a 30 amp short plug Another window, vertical, same uh, brand, vintage technologies. On the back, this door locks from the outside. When I'm not using it, I'll lock it up. When I am using it, I'll take these, open these up, and then lock these just so someone couldn't uh, lock me in. I've got a rear light for security. Also mounted the tie, spare tire with a uh, e-channel, two foot e-channel into two support beams. And uh, it's solid, it's not going anywhere. Another window, then a porch light. The uh, same vintage technologies window for the door. Let's take a look on the inside. All the wood I used in here was reclaimed pallet wood or just some old wood I had laying around. Old fencing, old two by fours, anything I could scrounge up. A planer and sanding works great. My top cabinets have a shock absorbing uh, a latch on there. Gives me plenty of storage. And also some storage on the sides. The countertop, reclaimed two by fours. A lot of them uh, were just uh, salvaged or left over from other projects. I trimmed them off on the edges and made a butcher block, plain and stained. Bottom cabinets, all, all pallet wood. Plumbing. And then uh, just some plastic drawers. I didn't want to make any drawers. So I found this one and another one for five bucks at a yard sale. It's okay with me. Plenty of storage under here. Some more drawer storage drawers. The floor and the ceiling are the same. They're a hardwood uh, laminate. One of the best uh, kind of laminates I came across. Bought that at a yard sale. 80 bucks for 250 square feet. Have the cabinet here for anything I want to put in there. And enough room for the refrigerator. 9,000 BTU air conditioner. As hot as it is here in Florida. Even though I have this well insulated, it gets pretty warm in here and uh, the thing cools it off right away. Haven't had a problem with having any type of suction, which I've read in other posts. Uh, seems to be working great. I pulled it away from the wall a little bit so it has enough air intake and also exhausted it out the bottom. Just put a dryer elbow on there. Any problems? Have a dimmer switch for all of the uh, 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 recessed lights. And the other three are for the outside lights. Emergency light up here. Have it wired directly to the battery just in case I have some kind of fault throughout the system. So I'll always have a light. A couple other light switches. One for under the under the cabinets or under the uh, the countertop, and then above here. I don't have a table in here because I made 
this type of like a so bar stools can fit under there it comes out nine inches fit two bar stools right in there that acts as my table it takes up uh, a little less room i could utilize the space i have here sink the only part of this uh wood that i um polyurethane was the backsplash for the sink uh, just in case there's uh, any any water it won't leave any stains I have a pallet wood bench here that also serves as storage. And also a couple doors on each side. My back door, I just left the original plywood and cut in grooves with my saver, uh, circular saw and uh, stained it, polyurethaned it. And uh, I think it came out pretty nice. Seeing that I don't have any way to get out from the inside, I thought I needed to have another uh, escape route just in case. So I installed these while the outsides are open. I installed these for security with just a pin that goes right on in. And um, it pulls it tight. And if I needed to get out, just pull those pins and open up those latches. It's uh, for uh, escape. Another exit and security. Um, the roller for the deck on top, I uh, hid that with a valance. Use the same uh, material as the ceiling. And then also installed a couple lights under there. And that's on its own switch. Over here is my power center. I've got a 30 amp Wilco with a 15 and a 20 amp uh, AC breakers. It's rated for 30 amp, but 20 amp would be well, well enough for me. On the inside, I don't know if you can see it very well, but I put in a sub panel. So just in case there's any issues with short power, the sub panel will see it first. And there's a 15 amp that goes to the converter and 20 amp main that feeds the uh, the power center put everything in conduit to hide it got everything hardwired together because they're all fused and also makes it a little bit neater and i also use this for storage extension cords what have you showing i have 100 battery 13 watt on the, on the amps and my DC power is back here in the battery box that I built. On the outside, I've got a couple of USB and then just another 12 volt plug. On the inside, I've got two uh, 70 amp uh, batteries parallel together. Give me 140 amps and I use number two um, copper. Also have a battery cutoff switch and a 200 amp uh, breaker that goes directly to the inverter. Just in case there are any fumes, there was a vent here when I bought the trailer, so I just bought a, a exhaust fan and it plugs in back over here, USB, and it's super quiet. Actually, you can't ever you can't hear it running. There it is, it's on high right there. I have a 110 watt inverter. I don't know if you can see it very well. Um, it's a it's not a sine wave, but for me that's that's it's plenty. It, it works great. Thing's about 10 years old and I've never had a problem with it. So I'm gonna use it for now, just in case. Also, I put in an access port down here that in case I do lose a uh, AC power, shore power. I'll plug into the inverter, run an extension cord through that excess port, and back over to shore power. And then I do have my converter on a separate breaker and I'll shut the converter off. And um, this area here is a sleeping area. My motorcycle fits in here just right. 
I decided not to go with an elevated bed. I didn't want to hide the ceiling and the lights. And I didn't want to go with a fold-up bed because then I would have to squeeze my, my full-size bike up against the benches. So I have this scissors bed. It folds out even with one hand. I could fold it out. Well, there we go. Put a blow-up mattress and memory foam on top, and it's it's more than comfortable. So that works out great. I've slept on it. It's it's fine. And then when it folds back up, it stores right under there. Well, I hope you like it. That's where I'm going next. Oh, oh, one last thing. A couple of these uh, cabinets I made, of course, just reclaimed and old pallet wood. And uh, they're on shocks as well. Gives me plenty of storage. We've been having some serious rains here in Florida, and I haven't uh, seen any leaks in the windows or the exhaust fan in the ceiling. Okay, everybody, thanks for watching. And uh, any updates I have? I'll be sure to uh, to post.